Amanda with dietsandreview.com and I am back to answer more questions. I absolutely love these so please keep them coming because I like to share my experience with you guys and really open up to answer as many questions as I can and let you guys just know a little bit about the behind the scenes of The Biggest Loser. Three questions I picked today. Darrell asked, how do you deal with soreness on the ranch? It's not easy. Um, we come in as regular everyday people that have never worked out and Sorry from day one, you are so sore. But the trainers and the uh, medical team always told us, you know what, after a workout, you ice, you rest up, and then the only way to really get past pain is to work through it. And at times it's hard, you almost feel like you can't do it, but it's possible. And um, it's something that you just, you know, mentally you have to get past the pain. There, I don't think there's ever, ever really a time that you're going to work out and not get sore and and um, it just be okay. So it's something you just work through and eventually your body will get so accustomed to it that you won't become sore anymore. Peg H asked, did you get to work out or talk with the trainers with no cameras around? This, this happens sometimes. Usually when the trainers were around was a day that we were filming and it's hard to escape those cameras. There's not only one camera, two cameras, three cam cameras. There was like seven, eight cameras all around all the time. And whenever the trainers were around or we were just a filming day, we always had microphones on. So at any point, the audio, the audio team could hear us talking. And if no cameras were around, in two seconds, cameras would come storming up to you. So they know that you're having a little heart to heart with somebody. As soon as those audio guys hear you, you can, you can expect cameras to be there in about two minutes. And there were even times when, um, you know, I would start talking to Rebecca about something and all of a sudden, the story producer would run in and be like, Amanda, stop. Don't continue that conversation until I get the cameras here. And like, they literally would make you stop talking. Um, so there were times when you tried to ask Bob and Jillian questions, but usually every time that we interacted with the trainers was when the cameras were around. There were times when Bob and Jill would come on campus or come into the kitchen and hang out and it would be without cameras, but normally everything you guys saw on the show is, is everything that they filmed when we were talking to them. Okay, now I'm going to answer one last question from Michelle, but before I get started, I do want to thank you Twitter users for actually asking me questions and, and trying to win a Biggest Loser cookbook. I absolutely live off of these cookbooks. They are my absolute favorite. And for all you users that ask questions, I was given the choice to pick one question that was my favorite. Michelle is the winner and she asked, do you need a gym or can you work out at home? And if so, what kind of exercises can you do at home? Or what kind of workout equipment should, should you try using to have the most um, effective workout? You absolutely do not need a gym. Gyms are very expensive, and with this economy, a lot of people can't afford gyms, which is totally understandable. It's as easy as putting on your shoes, going outside to take a walk, going outside to take a jog, or finding a set of stairs. I live in an apartment complex, and there are stairs everywhere. So I've gone up and down those stairs numerous times just to get a quick cardio burst in, and I feel good about it. I don't always have to go to the gym to hit my burn, or try to work out each day. If I'm not in the gym, I um, will also, I, I put my TV on and I put my Biggest Loser DVDs in. Those DVDs are so effective because usually we have Bob and Jill directing them and those are the two that I learned most from. So to work out them right in my living room, I feel great, I feel comfortable and it's also a great workout. You can also try um, jump roping, doing sit-ups, push-ups, like I said, going for a run. It's really simple. If you do have access to a gym though, um, my favorite equipment is cardio equipment just because I like to burn fat and I know I have some more fat to burn so when I get into the gym I get right on the, on the um, Stairmaster or the elliptical, the treadmill, anything that's going to make me sweat quick. And once I'm done with my um, cardio I will move over to the weight, weights and start bodybuilding a little bit but for me the most important thing in the gym is the cardio equipment. So. Don't feel like you definitely need a gym because you don't. You can make it happen at home without the equipment. You just have to get moving. Anything you're doing. If you're watching TV, you know, do some sit-ups during the commercial. Do some jumping jacks. Just do something. Get your heart rate up. And I promise you, you will burn calories and you will notice a weight loss. Thank you again and congratulations, Michelle, on winning the cookbook. 
keep asking questions because we will be doing prizes every week and we will make it work for you guys. Thank you so much.